Welcome to the latest video in our Ubuntu series. In this video we will cover a, a few quick ways to speed up your Ubuntu installation. You may notice in this video I have Unity set up as our default desktop. In one of our previous videos we discussed how to switch from Unity to Unity 2D or even Ubuntu Classic. For demonstration purposes I have went ahead and I've launched back into the Unity desktop for this demonstration. One of the first things I recommend doing if you're having issues with Ubuntu 11.04 being kind of slow, being kind of sluggish, after booting, being slow to load up uh, during the boot time, all those things can be kind of remedied a little bit, especially if you're on older hardware, by scaling that back and either booting into Ubuntu Classic or Ubuntu Classic No Effects. You can also use the Unity 2D. However, that doesn't come stock. You have to install that separately, which we covered in a previous video. You can see the call out in the video for, for the link to that. So to change that, we can do that one of two ways. Come up and click on the power button on the right end of the upper GNOME taskbar. Come down and click System Settings. We want to scroll down until we find Login Screen. You notice everything's grayed out. We need to click Unlock. Punch in our password. Click Authenticate. Now you notice we can change some of these settings. The first being Select Ubuntu as the default session. In Ubuntu 11.04, Unity is considered the default desktop environment. So you'll notice we don't have a Ubuntu with Unity. We do have Unity 2D, but that's because we installed it in the previous video. We'll go ahead and we'll change this to Ubuntu Classic No Effects. Uh, the No Effects will strip out some of the bouncing windows, the fade ins, fade outs, and some of the window animations that you get. Uh, so you'll get just the stripped down version of GNOME, which in sense is one of the quickest ways to run Ubuntu 11.04. So we'll take that and click on Close. And close that. We'll go ahead and we will log out. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate one of the other ways that we can choose a different desktop environment to maybe speed up our boot time a little bit. You'll notice if you click the account you want to log in as, you come down at the very bottom and you can choose a different desktop environment. So I'm going to jump into Ubuntu Classic No Effects and enter my password. Click log in. You'll notice it looks pretty much just like the standard Ubuntu Classic does. One of the big differences, you don't get much in terms of special effects as far as Windows operates. When you open a program, close a program, menus, none of that tends to fade in or out, they just pop out. Which is still fully, fully fine, it's a little faster. One of the other settings we can change to speed up our boot time is also back in the login screen. If we are the only user, as I am with my Ubuntu box here, my wife doesn't mess with this, we can tell it to log in directly as a user. By default, I only have one user set up, so it's the only one we see in the list. If somebody else does use the same machine, you can select the allow 30 seconds for anyone else to log in first. You can scale that down or increase the time on it. In my case, I'm the only user for my Ubuntu box, so I'll leave it as login as Techie Smarts automatically. Now that will automatically log us into our default session. So that will take away the whole login screen. We won't see it. We won't have to worry with it. From the time you power it on and you see the Ubuntu Splash loading screen, you'll go straight into your desktop. So that's another way we can increase our boot time. One of the other things we can do is go into our startup applications. And by default, there's a bunch of services here that are already activated. Some of them we don't need. In my case I'm using a VirtualBox machine so I don't need to use the Bluetooth manager. I have no Bluetooth devices connected to it so I can deselect that. I'm not using Evolution so I will deselect that. I'm not worried too much with file sharing in this machine so I'll go ahead and deactivate that. not working with remote desktop so I can turn that service off. And we probably, well I can disable the visual assistance because I frankly I don't need to use that for this machine. And I will leave that as it is. We're pretty much done. Now there are some advanced ways you can go in and speed up Ubuntu's boot time such as removing Gwibber, removing some language packs and a couple other programs that's not necessarily needed. Uh, that's more for the advanced user, and we will cover that in, in a later video. So, 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our blog at techiesmarts.com. Also, feel free to swing by and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash techiesmarts. And you can also find us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. You can find in the link to the video. So, once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.